uh, you, uh, you know, top line some very, very significant national issues that you're working on and coordinating there. Uh, would you like to highlight one program uh, specifically where uh, these activities are uh, enabling Happening. the capabilities? Yeah, there's two really important ones, but I'll start with um, one with HRSA. So many of you are familiar or may have heard about the uh, UDS uh, reporting program. So if you haven't, um, this is the, the, the process by which the Health Resources Services Administration or HRSA has manually captured information from federally qualified health centers across the country to determine how much funding is uh, provided and to really make sure that the you know, percentage of our population that doesn't always get the best technology or doesn't always get the best access to care, that they make sure that they have the resources made available. During uh, the pandemic, we really have seen across HHS just an, an increase in, um, or what I've been calling a convergence between health IT and you know, traditional IT and information technology and the you know, assessment of requirements that to use and leverage standards like Ben was talking about, which is what ONC is responsible for. So how can we take advantage of fast uh, healthcare interoperability resources, otherwise known as FHIR, to move information out of the manual reporting process and um, you know, really take advantage of all the innovation in, in IT itself to you know, help make our federal government more nimble. So in partnership with a number of parties inside HRSA, uh, including the CIO, Adrian Burton, and Jim McRae from the Bureau of Primary Care, um, to you know, incredible leaders and champions who've been a part of the government for a long time. We have really been, we've transformed what that reporting process will look like for the entire, for the entire country. And that's going to represent a significant reduction in burden for providers and all of um, you know, the different intermediaries and, and other companies that are supporting those health centers who often, you know, don't have, and we learned this during the pandemic, they don't have the resources and they don't have, you know, the technical um, people at the ready, like some of some of our other colleagues do to just come in and, and jump in and fix something. They're, you know, constantly just trying to do the best they can with what they have. So we're really excited um, and proud of that program. And then we, you um, the moving forward uh, initiative at, at CDC that many of you know about. Um, there's just a team of incredible leaders over at CDC from the CIO um, to a number of others in the organization who are also championing that you know combination of what can we do with standards that help support state and local jurisdictions and transform how we, in a secure way, how we have a surveillance system in place in this country um, that takes advantage of some of the things that have been done at the VA and DOD and makes them applicable for, for us at HHS. Uh, 